people, people in politics, people that uh, uh, the Fox crowd, the MSNBC crowd, the CNN crowd, all of you can think about this. Think about your political adversaries, that those in Congress and Senate and House and judges and attorneys, whatever, any uh, political figure. It could be a, 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 a police chief of a county, whatever, in politics to get elected in. Think about all your political adversaries, right? All your people that are your enemies, right? Now, picture this. Picture that they have come to kill you over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Not only just being against you in politics openly, but, but or not openly, but uh, subtly say it. But therefore, uh, but they've tried to kill you over and over and over again. Imagine you having a child, a son. You love him very much. He's the perfect son. Beautiful. You already get you already get it. Perfect, beautiful. I mean the perfect son. The son that wants to help you in the garage. Listens to everything you say. Clean your room. The room's clean. Dad, you're my hero. I worship you. I want to be you, Dad. I wait for you all the time, Dad. I, I, when you get home, I'm, I'm right there. How you doing, Dad? I missed you. He, he says all the things that you want to hear. But say that you were put in a position that you had to sacrifice that perfect son for those that have been your political enemies that's been killing you or trying to kill you all your life. Well, God is amazing. His moral code is out of this world.